Hello, my lovely ones. How are you, loves? Welcome to your full moon in Scorpio and the lunar eclipse we are experiencing in today. I wanted to do first thing first a reading for this full moon and the eclipse. See the energies. I will entitle this reading for whoever needs to hear this message regards this full moon. And later probably I will do the readings for tomorrow, the daily energies. But let's see, focusing on this specific full moon that is a very challenging energy, karmically and not only. Scorpio, it's all about that changes. Yes, Plutonian energy, certain things here regards your inside relationships might change, might fluctuate, might really be clearing out others. And even though we are still in the Taurus season, which is one of the fixed signs, Taurus getting together with Scorpio, water and earth, it's a good nourish, you know. When you water a plant that grows, that expands. Let's see, loves. I have the wisdom of the oracles for the messages from the oracles, which we'll put on the side. And I have one of the oldest decks, you know. What do we have? Whoever needs to hear this message around this full moon. And not only, as you always know, these energies might be as we speak. Since they're coming in right now. For some of you, might be a very long or pre-long energy. Take it as you feel it. And if it resonates with you, share with us your thoughts. If it does not, don't try it to put it together for you or for your situation. That's the energies who are working for us might not be that works for you or vice versa. As well, in the readings, many of you like feel like, well, this is not me, it's them. Flip the energies. You know, many times I might say, well, I see you here, I see you there, you do this and do that. Might be the other person. Don't get, please, offended by that because sometimes that's how it comes in the reading. But could be the other way around. And many, many times I will try to put the time frames or when this energy is going to happen or approximate. And sometimes might not be a time frame. Let's see, loves. What do we got for you? Nine of Pentacles. Seven of Wands. King of Cups. And the beautiful Sun. Awesome. What I'm seeing right away is the water sign we are celebrating today. So I might speak here with the Scorpio sun, could be Scorpio moon, but I feel here there is something here like I strongly want to work on and will be the way I want it or I need to be this way because that's the right way. Whatever it is, whatever speaks to you. And also, I might speak here with even a single parent or a single person or someone who it's now standing up for what is right and good for them. Could be your own happiness. Could be much more. We have the higher fence right here, Taurus energy. 
temperance energy, Sagittarian energy. Wow, Wheel of Fortune. And again, Jupiter, Sagittarian energy. Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords many times is a Libra energy for me, but could be any other air. Could be Gemini, could be as well an Aquarian. Nine of Cups. Six of Cups. Page of Cups. Nine of Swords. And Eight of Swords. It's kind of somebody here stand up for themselves, for their own worth. I am worthy. So it could be a very, very strong energy of now I know my own worth. Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, Nine of Swords, Nine of Wands is missing. Very, very strong, like, I know this gotta be. Yes, there's a lot of things here into your mind, into your heart. But I feel here, somebody here felt very small. Let's clarify really quick the Nine of Swords, Five of Cups, regards the past energies here. Seven of Pentacles and Nine of Wands and the Star. There needs something here to be healed and needs that healing to happen as we speak within a few months going forward. And Eight of Swords, Four of Swords. Moon, it's kind of like conquer your fears. Yeah, magician, you know clearly that you can overcome anything, you have all the tools, you know who you truly are or who you truly want to become. Yeah, strength. You can overcome any obstacle ahead of you or you've done or you had. Give yourself a chance. From the page to the king, that's a hell of a lot. Sorry for saying, but that's kind of a thing here. And seven of wands here, eight of wands. I'm ready for the move. I stand up into my power because I know what move got to happen. Full. A leap of faith into becoming who you truly want. And I feel here for many, many of you, you can have you could have someone who used to tell you what or how to do certain things. But now you know what you clearly need to do. It's like take a break. Take some time to see what you have, what you don't. But also, it's kind of like from the dark of a night to the light of the day. So there is a 180 degrees change here. It's like an elevation of energy. But I feel here this elevation happens with I want to and I need to heal whatever I go forward towards. So indeed here there is some kind of past energy or a childhood energy that needs to be 
overcome. For some of you, it's not a childhood energy to be overcome, but a past situation with someone or event even. But the thing is, and the most important thing is, you got to see it that you can overcome, can go forward with, and so on. If you want it, don't wait for it. Don't resist it. Go after it. Take your time to see or to look for clarity. Take a leap of faith. Because only you can see happiness ahead or the happy energy ahead. Whatever here was, I am afraid to go forward. I'm afraid to move forward or I'm afraid to overcome, to heal. Now you see that you can. For some of you, you needed to overcome a karmic energy. I'm not sure why, but I see someone who, who sees their life from a different eye or differently now. And I do see a single person, someone who worked on their confidence could work on their self-love. And for others of you, I see someone who did a lot of deep work, the shadow work, or even the, the inner child work, pa reparenting your inner child. But it's like I'm not feeling any more small. Could be whatever they thought or whatever they know that society implied to. That's healing and moving forward. What the Wheel of Fortune brings to you here? Change. And the death, you know, it's scorpionic energy. So this move, the divine timing, many, many times we call the wheel. This move brings change transformation, challenges. What kind of changes brings to us? Sudden ones. Nothing like you had before. The tower, that's kind of, th that's kind of a thing. It's happening when either you resist the change, either need something here to go, either need something here to change radically. One more card. King of Wands. Action. Taking action. Very strongly here. It's like transforming into an action bullet. or a magnet for action. So it's not like kind of you now hearing it. It's like you know now. It's like instantly you know what you gotta do. This all major arcanas, which are five of them, you know. It's like you wake up today and now you know what you got to do. It's like I stop wishing and I start doing it. All right. The best advice or the message from the universe to you, loves. Three of Wands. Your manifestations are coming. This is the same magician. I asked, it's coming. I asked the universe for guidance to overcome a situation. 
here it is. The future is in your hands. Hermit. Ten of Swords. Justice. Page of Wands. Six of Pentacles. Two of Wands. Very much working on the move forward. Leaving behind certain things which doesn't serve you anymore. As well, working on the balance very strongly could be the balance between the re the relationships you have or created or basically money balance and the decision it's quite done or will be done in a very short so yeah loves it's not like I got a here and there clear vision of who I am, what I do, and how I can proceed forward. It's, it's a thing here if you visualize your life or you put your manifestations on a piece of paper. Number them. Like 1, 2, 3, 10, 20, 30, 100. And go after them one step at a time. From the oracles here, loves, we have mending. Underneath we have orphaned. Working on some old things and yes for some of you I might speak with someone who've been abandoned or feel a lot of abandonment or feel a lot of loneliness or even though like you know feeling the way you feel many times is not coming from others but from inside so I feel here there are certain things here you are been working on to bring you peace, happiness, and no place like home. Feeling, you know, good in your own skin or feeling like yourself again. That, that was the sun here at the bottom. And feeling the strive again. Finding the purpose, finding yourself in the big picture. A message in a bottle for some of you there is a lot a lot of things coming in for you take take that leap don't resist it whatever message is coming in through either these messages are coming in from the guides either the messages are coming through your dreams or you see science pay attention because they are coming loves they are coming and co-create, co-create with the spirit. It's very much be excited to build up yourself. And yes, it's kind of you are all over the place or feeling like you are putting piece by piece together, like a puzzle together. But I feel here for many, many of you, you've been like in pieces and now you are putting yourself together. So that's the change here and feels here for some of you it's quite a huge one quite a huge or for some of you it's kind of with the king of cups and the king of wands here you find your um, i don't know how to call it your mojo or the desire to leave again you know passion and pleasure your Your happiness in, in the things you are having around this. If you understand what you mean. like Because 
Wands and Cups speaks about feeling, desires, things you always wanted. It's not like just the the routine around, but what you feel like to inspire most likely. So Yalas, whoever I'm speaking, you know now what to do and where to go. The universe is telling you whatever change is happening to you or will happen to you. It's a major one. So embrace it, loves, because sometimes the major changes are not so easy to to accept. But at the same time, they might come once in a blue moon. And one more card here, and I will get from the Monology deck. And this is the deck, love. The Monology deck, which with this full moon, whatever brings to you. Adjustments are required. Third quarter moon. So whatever is there, you know that is coming. And show the real world. Show the world the real you. Who you truly are. Because I feel here either people see you in a way or you now see yourself in a different way. A personal issue reaches a resolution and confidence is the key to success. Be confident loves as the king of wands to go forward. Whatever issue is here, it's more an inside one. Now you can overcome it. Don't be afraid to reflect or meditate towards it. Because I feel here you will take action. Again, the King of Wands. It's time to take action. So, Yalos, who you truly are. Find out and get out from that dark place or that dark space you hiding yourself from. Blessings, loves. I hope this connects with you in a way or another. Happy full moon in Scorpio. Lunar eclipse. A quite major one. And the first one for this year. It's coming. A few more. So, take it easy. Happy weekend. And I'll see you in the weekdays. Blessings. Namaste.